Hi, we're going to look into how you're logged in to the Chrome browser to make sure that you're only logged in with your ASU account. And then we're going to look at how you can log into other accounts. So the, an easy way to check is to go to google.com to the Google homepage. You can usually get here in the Chrome browser by clicking on the plus new tab. And when you do that, if you are logged in to the Chrome browser and logged into your Google account, you'll see two icons, one at the top and one in the main part of your browser window. This bottom icon, if you click on it, it will show you which account you're logged into. I am logged into my asu.edu account. Make sure that you are also but the important thing here is to look and see if there are any other accounts listed. I only see mine and an option to add another account. If you see any other accounts besides your ASU account, then click sign out and then you'll sign back in and only sign into your ASU account. So this is where you make sure that you're signed into only one account. Though it's possible to add another account here, it's not a good idea. We're going to look at a better way to add an account. So the second place to check is to click on the top icon and make sure that you're logged into your ASU account that ends in asu.edu. Now this is where you can add Chrome profiles to access your other account. So rather than logging into multiple Gmail accounts here, which can cause problems when you try to access files and do some other googly things. It's better to go to the Chrome browser profile and once it's opened, you click on plus add. Now what you're seeing here on mine is I've already done this twice. So I've added a another work account and I've added a third work account. So I am actually logged into three completely separate Google accounts right now in the browser and I'm going to log into a fourth by clicking plus add. I give it a name and I don't like having a desktop shortcut so I uncheck that option and then I click add. I could choose a picture, but I'm going to log into account that I have already added a picture to, so it would override it anyway. I'm going to click sign in since this is account I have already created, but if you wanted to make a new one, you could click get started. Then I need to enter my personal account here, and I need to log in. When it asks, turn on sync, say yes, I'm in. And now I'm signed into this account. Now here's the cool thing. I can close the X on this browser. I'm back to my ASU Chrome browser. And anytime I want to access these other accounts, all I have to do is click on the very top picture from anywhere. And then I can just open up that other account. And this is the only account that I'm logged into in this browser. It makes completely separate browsing experiences. All the bookmarks are only connected to that account. It makes it very easy if you're sharing a computer or just if you want to access your personal Google account and your ASU Google account. Do it separately. It will save you heartache.